India today has also accessed the venue where the India-China talks are taking place. We have the satellite images and news director Rahul Kaval will now walk you through where exactly this is taking place. Over to you, Rahul. What we want to do is give our viewers a visual context so that they can better appreciate where this meeting is taking place. Remember, these satellite pictures accessed exclusively by India today. But first, on a map of uh, Jammu and Kashmir, I want to show you the broad area in which this meeting is taking place. On the Indian side, there's Chushul, and on the Chinese side, there's a place called Moldo. The dotted line here represents the line of actual control. So I want to come to the first satellite picture. This is... a. Uh, closer shot and I've put it in context of Pangong because Pangong so has been in the news. So this is generally in the south direction of Pangong. This is Finger 4. So as you come down south from Finger 4, this is uh, Chushul village which comes in the middle. So this is now uh, southeast of Chushul. This is the Indian BPM hut complex. So BPM is a border personnel uh, meeting hut complex. I've marked it out in this uh, circle. This is where the current meeting is taking place. The Chinese have a big uh, border personnel meeting hut here in this area. But the meeting today is taking place along the line of actual control and it's taking place in this area. So what I want to do now is take you to the next map and we'll take you closer to the area and show you what this looks like on the ground. Okay, so this is a satellite image which shows you uh, the area where this meeting is taking place. There are three helipads in the area. Now, usually, militaries tend to have more than one helipad. If one, for whatever reason, is inoperational on the day, uh, you can then land on any of the other helipads. And then this is the Indian Border Personnel Management Hut Complex. It's a much bigger complex in this area than the Chinese BPM hut, which is marked out in this circle here. It's a much smaller hut. Uh, but that's where the meeting is taking place. Whichever army calls the hut, uh, calls that meeting, the meeting tends to take place in their location. This is a flag post. India also has a flag post close to our hut, and the flag post is essentially where you have a Chinese flag up. I'll give you a visual uh, of what this looks like from the ground. This is the hut where the meeting is taking place. And uh, I, I, we have some images that we can show you, uh, which will give you a broad context of what that hut looks like when it's shot from the ground. So the bigger hut that you'll see on your screen is uh, the Indian hut, which I just showed you. It's this complex. And then uh, the smaller hut is the Chinese hut. Uh, and that, so this is the, the, the small one marked out in the left corner of the screen is the hut which uh, is the one where the meeting currently is taking place. So that's, that's just a broad sense of uh, what's at play. Remember, the message that India is sending is very clear that... Uh, we will go in for this meeting, but we will first verify whether all of what you are saying is actually implemented on the ground. Now, typically between professional forces, if there is a, an agreement on de-escalation, that's the way uh, that it happens. However, in this instance, after what happened on the 6th of June, we saw even though the Chinese Major General Liu Lin, who is in charge of the South Xinjiang uh, military district, agreed on de-escalation that wasn't done on the ground and therefore the Indian uh, army this time led by 14 Corps commander Harinder Singh very very careful about ensuring that the de-escalation is operationalized in the manner in which it is discussed so as I said this is the Indian border personal meeting hut which we showed you that's the Chinese meeting hut and that's where this current meeting is taking place a very crucial meeting being called after the 6th of June so more than a fortnight has passed since and it will be very very crucial to, uh, to see what emerges from this meeting.